presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 7618. Let's go to our man, Alan Homosassa. What's going on, brother? It's, isn't it wonderful? I went ahead and invested in your uh, Tiger Dollars, and I went ahead <laughs> and got the gold report for a year, and, and also your morning, your, your call letter and stuff like that that and i got over a 50 percent return in one day not counting uh everything else but i just want to thank you tom's not perfect but he tells you how to put your stops in and he keeps your losses small you can take your small losses but then all of a sudden you'll be like they root and you'll hit a home run i mean a big home run yeah and put the money in your pocket okay I mean, brother I you're awesome man thank you now tom o'brien <laughs> Folks, this is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Create agreements, new agreements, but based on love and respect. Take the responsibility to make new agreements with those you love. If an agreement doesn't work, change the agreement, create a new one, and use your imagination to explore all the possibilities. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 301, NASDAQ's up 26, SPs are up 23. Gold, gold contract up $11.20, traded at 2015 an ounce. We have silver up 55 cents, $22.94 an ounce. Look at this copper market, man. Copper is doing an ABC up to 401, 404. We're at 375. It's up five and a half pennies right now. Oil. Oil is up buck sixty-five, $78.30 $0.30 a barrel. Notes and bonds. A 10-year note up four ticks, trading 110.04. The 30-year up nine ticks at 118.26 in King Dollar. King Dollar is down 421 ticks, trading out at 104.302. Euro at 107. Yen 149, British pound 125 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. Now, in the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. Because I suspect what we have here is that you've got to remember something. President's Day is Monday. We'll close Monday. Um, you know, so we'll see what the action is tomorrow. But most times what you do have, you got to remember people in the Northeast, okay, their children are off. There's a school vacation. So more than likely, tomorrow, even though the PPI is coming out in the morning, we're probably going to have lighter volume tomorrow also. We'll see how this shakes out. But right now, what you have is this, is that you come off the high, you come off with volume. Two and a half weeks ago, we also had volume, and I think that's the target right now. I still think that's the target that's going to go down and retest. You know, I, I don't see anything more than that. I can tell you that because there's not enough sellers. Um, but we'll see how this shakes out, you know. So right now, we had that contraction. Well, yesterday, the volume wasn't that bad. You know, you were still coming at 68 million yesterday. Today, we're at 40, so you're going to do 50, and that's the type of contraction that you're looking for. Now, with the highs, we only did 56, okay. Uh, we're already at the lows of the highs, because the lows of the highs is 500.24. So you're already into the bar, so that's saying you're going to go after the bar. Well, it's going to get intriguing here, of course, is that if the PPI comes in bad, meaning that would be good for the marketplace, um, you know, we'll see. Hey, the test is going to be tomorrow. If it blows by it, it blows by it, you know. Um, if it basically oscillates around it, that would be saying that it will come back and you're going to have a small consolidation right here. And the X100, we take a look at the three Qs. And we're going to have AMAT come out after the close out here today, which, you know, we'll have some action here. So on the three Qs, you have the same contraction, okay? Yesterday what we did, we did 48 million. You're only at 31. Uh, let's see, the bottom of that is the 435. Yeah, we haven't hit the bottom of that high yet. You know, I suspect we will tomorrow, though. 
we go into the uh, gold contract and we deal with the gold contract. You know, my take on this gold contract is that I think we basically got a blowout bottom, but we'll find out how this shakes out. Uh, you get 1.9 million contracts right now, which is great contract volume, by the way. Yeah, it's good contract volume. And we are back inside the range. You need to get back in 2007.40, and you're back inside the range once again. And we go over to the dollar. You know, we look at the dollar. You know, it's all about the dollar and interest rate structure still. And that's not going to change, folks, okay? So the dollar did just over 0.618 by ticks, okay, of the whole move down. Now the question is going to be, does it get back inside the lower range? You know, right now you're at 104, 255. You are down 248 ticks. Um, that being said, though, there's a lot of ranges here, and you're still in the higher range. We go take a look at the note and bond market. And that's getting some juice behind it also. Pull this back up. Okay, so if you take a look at this, we got to 110.17 today. We're at 110.04, 1.7 million contracts. That's good contract volume, but it's still going to need more. But this is, this is the building cause to repair the damage that was done on Monday, because that was some heavy damage. There's no two ways about it. Now, that damage we're still with lighter volume than we went up on. So that's still saying that there's still more buyers than sellers out here. Volatility, I expect the volatility is going to be choppy. It's going to be out here. It's going to be all of the above. Uh, that being said, we're on the other side of the interest rate structure, you know. And now let's go to copper because copper, and you can see it on the, you know, I brought up a couple of copper stocks yesterday, TGB in particular. And TGB was moving before the copper contract was moving. Uh, you can see that the last high of the cop copper contract, we made it to 397. When you put this on a larger one, I, put, I was looking at, I've been looking at this a lot lately in the last six months, because on a larger generic contract, when you bring this back, this 405 is sticking out like a sore thumb, actually. You can see. Is that the 405? Yeah, here's, well, that's actually 435. So I'm, I'm not even going up to that point. The 405, the way this is on a lot longer term basis, you can see it's a nice setup, man. Um, this level here that we came down to on a monthly basis didn't get into its lows. The lows would have been 301. We rejected three. Sorry, folks, it's so far away sometimes. Yeah, rejected 365. <laughs> so that's saying that, you know, even 435 is game. And if you go to, let's see what TGB is doing out here today, because this thing is a personality stock that likes moving. It actually, yeah, see, it moved. It, it, this move before the copper contract moved. TGB knows that copper's going higher, man. And every penny that copper goes higher, you know, that equity loves it. It should love it. <laughs> because they got millions of ounces of copper. Stay right there, folks. Come back with our Mr. Tim Ward. We're going to go over these markets. Come right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey, because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 326, Nasdaq's up 28, S&P's are up 25. Let's go with AMAT. AMAT's coming out with numbers after the close, folks. AMAT for the low for the year is 109, the high today, 189. And they're going to be looking to do, let's see what we have here. They're going to be looking to do 6.5 billion to the top line, $1.91. Now, it's intriguing here for the semiconductor business, okay? And particularly for AMAT in general, is that they have an auto book, and normally, with it, no, not normally, it does basically push forward, meaning you know what the orders are going forward. So this is pretty intriguing that they're actually saying their orders are down versus up on the fundamentals. So let's see how is this thing set up technically. So we take a look at this. Okay. So yeah, yeah, you're pushing with. Yeah, this needs a lot more volume, man. Yeah, this shouldn't be. This is taking out its high today, on a lot lighter volume. That's not good. Let me put this on. So let's see, where are we at? I'm gonna put it on a weekly first. I'll be able to tell what we're doing on a weekly. So on a weekly, it's the same. Weekly's not bad actually. That what's that number there? The number there's 178. We're at 188. I think 178's game here. That's 10 points lighter than where we are. And where I'm going with that is four weeks ago. Yeah, let me put this on a monthly. So on a monthly, went 15 days. Yeah, it's never going to make 136. We're at 70, yeah. Yeah. 170, 178 looks to me like 178 is game on that baby. That's how that's shaking out. Let's go over to Apple because what you have here, which is so unique, is let me do this first AAPL equity. Let's see. This has to do with Buffett selling anything out of Apple. 
because let me tell you something. Buffett doesn't sell. And it had these 13 Fs. Now, it wasn't Buffett who got Berkshire into Apple to start with. Okay, it was his lieutenant that's going to end up running the company. Then it was a huge trade. There's no doubt about that. Uh, but it, they just don't sell. And so as soon as they start selling, it's a whole different ball game because they own so much of it. PHTC. I know what it is now. PHTC. PHTC. One second. There we go. Okay, so security ownership. Come on. Fill in. Okay, one second. AAPL equity PHTC. Okay, here we go. So. It's taking a few minutes here. Okay, so here's Berkshire Hathaway. So check this out, folks. Now, Berkshire owns 5.8% or 905 million shares. They sold 10 million in the last quarter. Now, that's not a lot. The problem is that they're selling versus holding versus buying. And what I've found is that once you start selling, you sell, period. Okay, so... You know, and I can see this with Apple because the bottom line is that, okay, what is, you know, well, well, two different things end up happening here. So when we take a look at Apple, what happens is this. The dividend, see, the, the Apple's so cheap, okay? They're paying one half a percent dividend, okay? So Buffett's not going to hold on to an equity that uh, Berkshire isn't, that's not paying a dividend, okay? They bought it for growth. They got growth. They made a score out of it beyond belief. There's no two ways about that. And when you're talking about that many shares that are outstanding and Buffett being a seller, that's a huge problem, man, because it's someone that owns 5.7% of it. Because the, the way that Apple is set up, it has been set up for quite some time, is that Apple doesn't have any volume up at these levels, man, period. I mean, not even close either. Not even close. I mean, so, you know, when you take a look at Apple, I don't even want to give you a number because it's so low. But the, the first leg, as soon as Apple, we're at 182. And so this level here is crucial because if you get under the 182, you'll see what I'm, if you're watching Tiger TV, you get one under 182, you're in the lower range, that gets, that gets you down to 124, you know? So... We'll see how that ends up shaking out, but that is one monster number. There's two, no two ways about that. That's, it's like, okay, um, can that happen? Yeah, it can happen in about a heartbeat, folks, because the bottom line is that, you know, they have a huge amount of cash. There's no doubt about that. Uh, but when you're looking for growth, let's see what they're saying. So they're saying right now, oh, awesome, man. Okay, folks, let's get over to our man, Mr. Tim Ward, as we uh, do every Tuesday and Thursday. And don't forget, folks, you can reach Tim every trading day at Ord, O-R-D, hyphen, Oracle, O-R-C-L-E, dot com. That's Ord, hyphen, Oracle, dot com. Tim Ward, what's going on, brother? Yeah, I'm sorry, a little late. That's but, all um, right. We're shaking, we're baking. I'm telling you, man, what a market, huh? <laughs> yeah, what a market. So, uh, yeah. We'll take a quick look at it here. Yeah. Uh, there's kind of a couple of things going on. Uh, the bigger trend's up, uh, but you kind of. I think we're going to see a timeout here. You know, chart one yep. is worth looking at. Anyhow, okay. go up to one, two, third window up. It's a six, uh, the 63 day trend. Yes. And uh, anyhow, I, I colored there all in blue. The blue boxes, I guess. Yep. When that uh, three day trend or that three month trend, I guess the three month trend is above 1.2, and you can have short term pullbacks, but you can go back in history and they never come at uh, uh, long term highs. Okay. Uh, they, they can come in consolidations, but, you know, what you got to worry when the uh, trend gets down to below one on a six three day trend. And those are the uh, uh, light 
paint boxes. I kind of, if you can see those, a lot of times you I get can. that low in a six, three day trend. Yes. You're probably looking at an intermittent term high. And that's what happened back at uh, last year's July high. Yes. That, that they got down to like right around one there and we got that 10% correction. But here we're standing at 1.12. So you can have a, you know, a, I don't know, three, four, maybe 5% pullback here, but nothing probably not a 10% or anything close to that. So what a great anyway, little indicator. What, that's, that's a cool indicator, yeah. Tim, particularly because, you know, I mean, this is a shake, rattle and roll market. There's no doubt about it, man. <laughs> yeah, it is. So, so, we're, we're, so yeah, just, just wait trend, there. I guess. That's it. We got plenty. Hey, listen, man, we got plenty of time. We'll take our time. We'll go through these. It's really important. We got our man, Mr. Tim Ord, folks from the Ord Oracle. Remember, you can reach Tim every trading day at Ord, O-R-D hyphen Oracle dot com. Tim and I is going to be coming right back. We have the Dow up 321, Nasdaq's up 19, S&P's are up 23. Stay right there, folks. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the Opening Call newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the Opening Call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Tim Moore, Tom O'Brien, we do appreciate your growl and a problem with us out here. We're talking with Tim, and we're going through the, uh, the trend right now. Hey, Tim, so, you know, uh, this is a beautiful indicator. I love this indicator. You know, we came down off the highs on this S&P, you know, and I'm sure you're going to get to it. But what do you think is happening inside this S&P right now? Uh, right now? Yes. Uh, well, what's going on right now, uh, actually, we could just 
we can skip a chart here. Let's go to um, um, chart number four. Okay, I have it. And, yep. uh, yeah, this is the SPX or yeah SPX tilt uh, PLT ratio, which is okay. Uh, the, you know, the top one is the RSI, the next one to down is the SPX tilt ratio. Yes. And so, you know, that last decline we had, uh, you know, oh, um, what was it? Uh, January 31st went down. Right. You know, if you notice that RSI. So, let me, I'll put it this way. When the SPX and tilt ratio get out of whack, if, it goes, if that ratio goes up too fast or down too fast, then... And that's pretty much the market of the world. You know, you got the stocks and you got the bond market, and you can buy them both. Yes. And you get a really good picture of what the market may do, even for short term. So I'm thinking this. You know, the SPX has just gone up too fast compared to TLT, when, and and previous when that's done, it uses like a stretched rubber band. Wow. It just snaps back. That's cool, that's, right? That's, no, no, I that's get how it. I view it. Yep. Know? So, and and actually when. Uh, the last time we got up there, uh, yeah, it looks like about January 31st, it kind of warned for that pullback. And so now, you know, yesterday we had a, uh, I, I got it on the chart there, February 14th, 2024. Yes. The close was uh, 70.50. Right now we're like 71, 72 area. Okay. So uh, we're, we're going up against something here, and I thought we may close that gap we had. Monday, you know, market gap down. I thought, okay, we may close that gap. Yes. And if that ratio got back up around 70 or higher, you know, I'm going to get out of my long position. Well, about a half hour ago, I sent out an email. I've been long uh, the SPX uh, since January 18th. Right. And so I'm getting out of that position, not for long term. No, I'm with you. That. That's, why we, that's why I was asking, and we appreciate the feedback here, man, because it's so cool, man, you know, that – yeah, you had that, you know, that, just like I said, the January 31st, which is not a big downdraft. Then we came down hard, and it's like, okay, you know, today I can see that the volume's contracting quite a bit. And what's happening is that we're closed Monday for the holiday, President's holiday. And what does happen, which I was telling the folks, is that what happens on the Northeast corridor, Tim, is that all the kids are off vacation. So... What does happen is that tomorrow, even though the PPI is going to be coming out, it's probably going to be a slow day because there's so many people from the Northeast going on vacation coming down to Florida. <laughs> yeah, it's probably true. It's, it's, it's probably so true. funny. It, from living up there, this is a big vacation, folks. This is, this is like the vacation everyone waits for in the winter from the Northeast. It really is. You know what I mean? It's like one of these deals that, okay... So it's going to be intriguing, yeah. but you can see that there's still, you know, that being said, there's not a lot of sellers out here, man. I mean, you know, that come down hard and fast, but, you know, you've taught us that, you know, when they go too fast, that's, you know, the same thing. And I, I can see the correlation that you're talking about with the TLT, you know, which is really cool, man. So. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's take a look at chart three. Okay. Um, there we you, go. You're, you're talking yep. about, uh, you know, going down too fast. Uh, chart three is uh, the SPY. And what I want to point out there, you know, on that January 31st, I got, if you look at the volume chart there. Yes. You know, the, the that was a big spike in volume, uh, close to 100% compared to the previous days. Yeah. And I always said, you know, when the market jumps that fast in volume, it's like the exhaust move to the downside, and that turned out to be a short-term low. Right. And the market rallies up, hits a new high. Then... Uh, then Monday we have the same thing. We yes. have another spike in volume, right. which means a uh, you know, short-term low. That's the reason why I stayed along that position for now. But I got some other indicators. But anyhow, yeah, no. Hey, listen, man, this is a great trade, man. I was watching that trade because that's a, you know, that was a shake, rattle, roll, man. <laughs> I love yeah. it. <laughs> Yeah, but but you know, always you know, even the past, back even twenty years ago, uh, you know, I was on your show. Yes. When you have these selling climaxes, yeah, I don't know what percentage, but a high percentage of those selling climaxes are tested. So yes. once you see a spike somewhere, they're only at some point you're gonna go back down and and test that selling climax. So we had one on January thirty first, and we had one on well, wherever Monday was. Yeah, was exactly. The twelfth or. Yeah, right. 12th or something. I can't remember. Right. So, so we go up, you know, and we got this uh, 
SPX tilt, uh, tilt ratio showing kind of a bearish sign. We got a three day weekend coming up. Yep. And if you go into, into highs a lot of times, if volume drops out, you know, it's today higher is tomorrow. Uh, you know, I'm thinking it's one of the two days. I don't think, you know, well, Monday the market's closed. Right. I don't think the market's going to be up on a Tuesday or Tuesday after a three day holiday. And we'll have to wait and see. No, you no, know, I'm nothing. with you. And I get it. I but mean, for, you know, the, the, it's so intriguing because the, they're like warning shots a little. Do you know what I'm saying? What yeah, else? they're, they're yeah. right. They're shot over the bows. Right. Saying, you know, there's, there's some stuff wrong on a short-term basis here right. that you're not really supposed to see in an uptrend. And if you look at the, you know, the, the bottom window uh, is the 10-day trend, which is yes. okay. Uh, the next window up is a five-day. Normally, you like that up around 1.4. Then the next window up is a two-day trend. You like to see that up 1.5. I'm thinking if we do get a pullback here, either we test the 480 area, which is the January low, or Monday's low, which is close to 490. Yeah. I bet those trends would jump up there, you know, signaling in another bullish uptrend, you know, or we got enough panic to get another trend going up. So I, I think this is a little of a shakeout to get – some fear back into the market, get some more energy in the market uh, uh, to possibly push it higher is what I'm thinking. No, no, so. absolutely. And, folks, if you're watching Tiger TV, you know, you're going to see. I just I just popped another chart up here, Tom, uh, Tim, with those numbers you just gave us, just so they can see the two volume spikes as well as the numbers, you know, because what ends up happening, folks, okay, is that when you have numbers before they get there, it's so cool because now you know what to look for. Do you know what I mean? You're going to look for yeah, fast price destruction. You're going to look for the trend going dramatically higher. You're going to look for everyone bailing out. And you're going to have people uh, say you're out of your mind if you go long. And you get all this together, right. and it's yeah. before yeah. the fact. Guess what? You'll buy it. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah, they always say, you know, you, you're, you're stepping up in front of a freight train. Well, not really. You know, not, you're, that's, you're stepping in where the train's going to stop. Listen, you, know, we're, we're, so you and I have been doing you, this long enough. We know that these big, deep, you know, this won't be a deep retracement, folks, but I can tell you something, you know, you get a deep retracement, that's where all the money's made, man. And that's buying yeah. it. That's buying it. Stay right there, folks. Yeah. Tim and I are going to be coming right back. The uh, S&Ps right now, they're up 280. And don't forget, we are going to be on a holiday, which is a beautiful thing. You get four-day work week next week. And, uh, you know, the, the dollar, you know, bottom line is going the right way for us. So we'll see whether that turns in the next couple of days. Stay right there. Tim and I come right back, folks. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. 
Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. A must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Tim Moore, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate the growl and the prowl with us out here. So, Tim, where, where, what chart would you like to go to? Actually, let's get back to three real quick. Okay, you know, I have it. Your listeners, how, you know, how do you figure out where you're going to find support? You're yes. going to find support where you're going to find panic. If you don't have any panic, you don't have any support. So uh, on um, this chart, chart, the second window up is the five-day average of the trend, and the, and the next window up, third window up from the bottom is the two-day trend. Yes. I'm thinking when this gets this pullback, potential pullback, it hasn't happened yet, but we have two selling climaxes that I think at some point is going to be tested. Yes. So if we do get those tests, or at least the two-day will get up to 1.5, if not the five-day, get up to 1.4. And when you got that, you're you're near a low. Nice. And so that's that's what you're going to be looking for. So, uh, you know, so you, you know, the faster the better. You know, when they really slam the market hard, right. that's usually a real good sign. If it just kind of crawls down, yep. that's a real bad that's sign. That's a problem. I got you're it. probably not going to get any panic, yep. and you're going to keep going down. So, now, now, folks, okay, uh, remember, if you're in the car, I know you can't be looking at the vote photos at the same time. Remember, it's archived, because Tim set this chart up really cool, man. He has on the top part, he has where those two high-volume days are, he has red lines that are going across it. You're going to match that up with the first box that's coming down with the trend and the thing that's so cool about this folks okay is that we all know that yeah you can have support resistance and all this okay but when you have something that confirms and brings the probability up higher it's a whole different ball game and as tim's explaining to you you know the faster it goes in this case we're talking about down the better off it would be because the trend would go up there'd be more fear in the marketplace no one wants to buy it and guess what we buy fear because <laughs> yeah. we right. love love. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's that's pretty much how it works. You know, the last low we had in uh, you know December and in mid January that that pink area I shaded there. Yes, notice the, the trends jump up there, kind of giving you a good clue that that sideways pattern was a you know a consolidation pattern. Right, so it wasn't a topping pattern. So, yeah, that's why I put that there for And so. we also have to remember that, you know, uh, the chart, folks, okay, and I'm sure that most of thousands of people out there have been following us, that when the uh, chart, when the summation index came, you know, under the 700 and then went over the 1,000, that that's where we're at for 2024. So you always want to keep that in mind also, which is really cool, you know. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's point. We we talk about two uh, chart two real quick. Okay. Uh, that's that RSI thing. Yeah, I was going to bring that summation up index up again. I'm thinking, well, everybody's get tired. No, of that's that. cool. No, I, but, listen, man, I appreciate it. This is awesome. Okay, so I got the RSI up here. Yep. Yeah, well, you know the RSI when it gets to eighty. Normally, a lot of times you're at the halfway point of the move up. And we had eighty. I, I think it was January 18th or something. I don't remember. Yep. But um, so on a bigger time frame, we're in a 
probably a trending market. You know, not every week's going to be up. You know, but uh, so this kind of gives you a bigger clue that when you get eighty on the RSI, that shows a lot of momentum behind the market. Yes, and momentum just doesn't run. Uh, it just doesn't quit and go the opposite direction. Momentum carries forward. So uh, on a bigger time frame, this looks. You know, it's bullish. It's a short-term time frame. Probably over the next couple of weeks, maybe a month, we might see a, a, a base building pattern here or something. Yeah, so. no, no, I, exactly. You know, the time-wise, you know, it's interesting, Tim. Time-wise, this is setting up really nice to get a little pullback because, you know, you're 10 days, 10 trading days away from March, which would be window dressing, right? So there's plenty of time to get down there, wreck some, you know, Technicals go after the, go after those lows, and then all of a sudden, you know, window dressing comes in. And they say, "Okay, oh, oh, sorry, that's right. I want to go back topside." <laughs> yeah, probably that yeah, could be. So, yeah. okay, well, we can go to chart. Okay, we got to uh, four charts. We can go to chart five. Okay, let's see. Uh, here's there's going to be good news and bad news on this. Okay, Anyhow, good. This is the uh, uh, GDX. This is right. This is uh, yeah the daily inflation deflation ratio. And RSI is at twenty twenty seven on the uh, daily, and so a lot of times, if you go at bottom charts GDX, and I circled in red, yes. the times when the RSI is below um, uh, thirty, and it's normally they come at short term lows. So that's the daily. And I flip over to chart number six. Okay, you got the weeklies uh, at RSI at thirty also. So you got the dailies and the thirties or dailies and the weeklies are as high at 30. So you're probably looking at a little bit bigger low since the daily and, and weekly are as high, are both at lows here. So you got some sort of a, a low billing here. Market really hasn't moved much since August of last year. It's pretty much just gone sideways. So we now take a look at kind of going fast here, but I want to get this in. Yep. Chart number seven. Okay, good. And this is a chart that uh, we, we've shown it in the past, and we talked about it in the past. But anyhow, the bottom window is the 50-day average of the up-down volume. Right. When it gets gets below minus 20, which it is right now, is minus 16 and a half. Um, uh, actually, I have this chart all the way back to when GDX began. Yes. And almost 9% of the time, this chart works. And what it happens, it goes sideways. Okay. I mean, that's, so you're going to have a bounce. Your bottom is probably in this vicinity, but it's not going to go up much. And that's okay. The, the flaw, it's not the flaw, it's what the market's going to do. Uh, so sometimes these, it goes at a minimum two months sideways up to six months. The last time we had this thing triggered was July of last year. Uh, it came in an October low. Uh, then we had a rally, but the market went sideways from uh, July to October, finally got a rally for that, went kind of sideways to down a little bit of July of last year. I'm thinking, you know, we're, we're down, we're probably at a base period here, but we're probably going to go, uh, go sideways probably into July again. A lot of times July is uh, seasonality is a bullish period. Drive everyone so crazy, you know, right? Yeah, because we had, a, I mean, the GDX had some monster volume yesterday, man. I mean, a Monday. I mean, it came, you know, yeah. it came down hard and fast. But I, I, I get it. Building cars, yeah. folks. Building cars going yeah, sideways drives everyone cars, crazy, but that's what it takes. Size. So, you know, this market's really kind of just dull here, and it's going to remain dull. Probably you're going to get seminant weight in a bullish category time you come in July. So it'll, it'll bounce up probably here, come down a little bit, probably test the current lows we're in right now or the, thereabouts. Yeah. They'll really go nowhere in between now and, and maybe, I don't know what day it's going to start going up, but it's, it's usually months of, of sideways movement here. So not up much, not down much, just not much to yeah. do. You know, so. it's interesting, Tim, because what I'm hoping for is that the I think the S and P you know comes back and tries to get to one of those levels that we've been talking about and below it, and I'm hoping that that's when the test comes on the GDX also. Do you know what I'm saying? Uh, faster, because if it's faster versus slow, it would help. I think show that okay, yeah, they're more sellers or buyers. You know what I'm saying? So we'll see. Yeah, yeah, man, it's, it's hard to say. Yeah, so, well, listen, man, it's always a pleasure. Out, so it's, it's a lot of. 
probably a lot of nothing on GDX for the next, you know, at least a couple of months, maybe three, four months. Yeah. So. It's always a pleasure, Tim. Thank you so much, and uh, have a great weekend. We look forward to speaking to you on Tuesday. All right. Thank you. Thanks, man. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. A must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. And yeah, we got to do a little history here on Herbal Life because, uh, you know, Ackerman, you know, who's out there, you know, uh, anyway, Ackerman and Icon had a big fight over this. But when you take a look at this chart, you're going to see that. So the, the fight started at 2012. 2012, yeah, 20. Uh, one second. Come on, I do this quick. HLF. It might have been 2015. No, it was. Tw one second. I had this right in front of me for a second. 20. Yeah, started at 2012. So 2012, okay. Herbal Life's trading at 28. Uh, Ackerman says it's worth nothing, right? Icon's in the, in the deal. The bottom line, watch how long this took. So 2012, unfortunately, he closes his position at 2018, which is the high. That was $68, okay? Right at, the, right at the high, too. That's the bottom line. Then Ackerman, then, so Ackerman closes his position, loses this is quite a bit of money, a billion dollars, I think. Um, bottom line, Icon interest in it at 2023 is over. He doesn't make any money either. <laughs> Bottom line, the stock goes back up to 59, and now you get the crash, okay? 
So he's down 370 here. It's eight, you know, it's eight bucks. So this thing's going south, period. Uh, but I just wanted to bring that up because, you know, you can see that many times, you know, and I love shorting, folks, okay? But the bottom line is that you better really uh, have a long runway because, you know, yes, the bread is there, but boy, you can get twisted and in a monster way. And that just shows that it took, uh, well, that's 14 years, right? <laughs> Pretty amazing. That's, that's about as wild as it can get, 14 years, no doubt. After the close, AMAT's going to be coming out. DoorDash. Uh, DoorDash is also going to be coming out after the close. So DoorDash, what's DoorDash running at? DoorDash is running at uh, $1.26. That's up some... Yeah, look at that. That is, now, that is volume on it. That's an ABC up. Hmm. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Great show, folks.